um, well, it was Aviatrix originally, because when I was talking to M. Holt, he was talking about making a Pictrix, which I thought, <coughs> I thought was really nice, yeah. but I don't do pick. So, yeah. so yeah. it was an Aviatrix, and then I thought, well, we've got a Ren C, why don't we have a Trix C? Is this so to make a new sequence, we make a lead trick sequence. Creates a blank sequence for us. Yeah. Now we say, what are we going to say? You can see the hours of work going into making this happen. Well, from Melbourne Mini 2008. Okay, so now we can choose. So there was, that was 10 seconds worth of work. Yep, so now you can choose what font you want. I don't like the sensor if I'm going to go for an aerial font. Might even bold it. Okay. So I do that. And then we go, oh, this is going to be hard to code, so we click create. And now it's made a nice scrolling hello from Melbourne Mini 2008. Yeah, simple as that. All done. From there now, from there nice. yep. Obviously, scrolls from the bottom. No wreath. No, I'm out of power points. There's um, boards around this house everywhere, so. Um, does, the, does it scroll the bottom pins first, like the bottom lines first? Yeah, okay. The only thing with that I've noticed is if you watch it scroll across every now and then, oh, that's frozen. It's frozen. It's finished. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have, oh, you haven't actually moved it off the. No, so I can actually give it a command. T3, clear screen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's it. What's the processor load on that now? 7.8%. <coughs> no, 2.9. Now, 16, 22, 24, and 30. Unreal, and that's what? 33. That's brand new. So, I've only got 24 channels of the VIG set up. We'll pull it up. <laughs> well, the effects of this, this effect you can't do yeah. on the... Yeah, the, actually, the, 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 we should have a look at it because it's... I just love the spiral and be like... Yeah, that effect where it's running, yeah, it looks like a barber shop. Uh, but Higgs is using a standard like Trix, guys. That's right. <clears throat> if we gave real power... Yeah, yeah. Real power. One. Can you give us a demo of the standalone? Yeah. As to what can it do? The standalone's got about... And bear in mind, this has got about, I think it's got about 4K of, yeah. of, of EEPROM in it. It's yep. 4K of code space, yep. which you use to store the, um, the various cool. bits and pieces. So what I've done is basically created five frames, 5 by 7, 68 bits, which I can then rotate through. So it's a message that goes for as long as I'll show you. I don't care to be <laughs> But it is a woman. Trixie. <laughs> louder for the camera. I like your board around the 107. Yeah, it's yeah. nice, isn't it? Hard face. Yeah. <laughs> because, actually, like you could do it in, you could actually do it in, um, web. Yeah, you could do it. That, Yes, but in the US at the moment, it's happened to. That's right. Oh, I did it yesterday. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna wait for now. Is that a separate program? Let's just program here. But again, 